Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Virgo. This is going to be for the end of your February going into March. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. You could switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. And uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, what else? Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Virgo people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right. So Virgo, tell me about Virgo here. Tell me about Virgo. What's going on with Virgo in love and the person that they are connecting with here for February, for the end of February going into March? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. We have the Death card here and the Page of Pentacles. There was a situation that ended here, but I feel like someone here is coming around to make you an offer here, a strong offer here, Virgo. Uh, death card, Scorpio energy, a page of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo we have the ace of sword ace of pentacles eight of swords we have the two of swords and the queen of cups whoever this is i, I feel like we have someone here that cannot stop thinking about having a new beginning here with you but i feel like um virgo i feel like you're this queen of cups here i feel like you've blocked this person out one of the things, the things I'm getting here is that I feel like you're taking the role, those rose-colored glasses off. You know, those fantasies that you've been having about this individual, you know, doing the right thing, you know, apologizing to you, making things up to you. I feel like you feel like that's not going to happen at this point if it hasn't happened already. Because I feel like wh why things ended here is because nothing has changed. Okay, Page of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Whoever this individual is, I feel like this person has consistently dropped the ball over and over and over and over again. And you feel like you gave this person many chances here. Many chances here. It just seems like this person doesn't really take the time to really self-reflect here. You know, kind of reassess the situation or get some help here. Because I feel like this person's a bit of a hot mess. I don't know why, but, uh, you know, I feel like if you're not living with this person and I feel like you've been to this person's place, their home is like a complete disaster. Like it's a mess. Okay. Uh, the two of swords here, we have the two of wands, the uh, queen of cups and the devil Capricorn energy. I feel like you've, I feel like whoever this is, this is an individual that's kind of I feel like this individual is trying to suck you back into their craziness, into their dark hole here. I do feel like this is a situation that you've been dealing with here that's really toxic, very codependent, you know, very needy here. Uh, just, just, just a complete, completely dysfunctional connection here. You know, Virgo, you could have gone off towards a new beginning here and focused on your pentacles here and focused on your uh, and focus on your healing here okay what else do we have here for virgo the person that virgo is dealing with here what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards virgo what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards virgo for the end of february going into march sun moon rising venus signs for virgo the King of Cups here and the Queen of Pentacles. The King of Wands here and the Ten of Cups. The King of Swords here and the Six of Cups. This person is missing you here. Virgo. Here's the thing. I feel like this person wants to talk to you. Maybe this fem... Yeah, I, I feel like... I feel like it could be a situation that this person has a ton of options here too. Has a hard time making a decision here. The queen, uh, the king of cups and the queen of pentacles. 
King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the King of Wands here and the Ten of Cups. It seems like someone here has a decision to make. And I feel like maybe perhaps like Virgo, you just didn't want to be this person's option here. We have the King of Swords here and the Six of Cups. It could be a situation that, you know, you are their new person and someone here and your person could still also be dealing with an ex here that they refuse to let go. Now, it could be the, the situation that this person's committed so, somewhere else, but they're refusing to leave the other situation to be with you. And this person that you're dealing with here could be in a toxic relationship and they're trying to get out, but they can't. Because I, I feel like each time this person tries, I feel like they just get sucked back in. Seven of Swords here. King of Cups, Ten of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. One of the things I feel like, you know, I just feel like you just can't trust this person anymore because they are not delivering on what they're saying here, okay? They're telling you a lot of things. They're making you a lot of promises, but I don't, I, I don't see this person ever leaving their toxic situation. That's what I'm getting here. Because if they really truly wanted to, they would have already left, yeah? They would have already left and keep in mind that this person has been through a ton of trauma. Are you really ready and serious to take on this person's baggage once they come over to you? That's something to consider too. We have the Knight of Pentacles here and Temperance. I, I What I'm getting here is I feel like if this person is still dealing with that that, that connection that they're in here. I, I feel like they're still trying to work things out with that person. This person might have children with that, that, that other person. Outcome and advice here for Virgo regarding their situation. What else does Virgo need to know? Look out for work on here for the end of their February going into March. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy. There's a lot of people here. You know, it could be a situation that all these energies, you know, I feel like you guys might embody all these energies here. You know, one of, so what I'm getting here is that I feel like this person's trying to rekindle this relationship here with you too. Yeah, it's so interesting because I feel like this person's definitely going back and forth a little bit with the Knight of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sag, and the Empress, Libra, Taurus. Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy. We have the Queen of Swords here and the King of Pentacles. We have the Kings of Queen of Pentacles, Kings of Queen of Swords, okay? Yeah, it seems like this person keeps going back and forth. Tell me about this Judgment card. We have the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Magician. They want to be with you so badly, but they, they're just stuck in this black hole. Yeah, they're just stuck in this black hole. It's like they're trying everything that they can to get out. The thing is, you can't help this person here, Virgo. You only can look out for yourself, and I feel like that's what you're doing right now. The Knight of Wands here. We have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, the Empress here, and the Emperor. This is a, this is a true soulmate connection here, okay? I do feel like, you know, I do feel like this person is definitely going through some sort of emotion, major upheaval here, because this is like, this is a lot. It's like they're trying to get out of a situation, but they can't. The Emperor, Aries energy, the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, the Queen of Swords, and the Hermit, Virgo energy here, and the King of Pentacles here, and the Four of Cups. Seems like you've distanced yourself from this individual. Even if this person came back around, I feel like you might reject this person's, uh, you know, offer or an uh, apology here. Yeah, this is too much for you, Virgo. So Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.